Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and one of the projects I had scheduled out here at the retreat location this weekend was to bring the rainwater harvester back online now that winter has passed. I tried to shoot some footage but I lost it, so I'll try to recap it now. The first thing we did was wash out the gutters to get all the debris out that had collected over the winter. I reinstalled the Rusco spin down filter, put a fresh chlorine pool puck in the bottom of it. That black sock you see there around the filter is the UV protector, so you don't get algae growth inside the filter. And then we reinstalled the drip valve. Now for those of you who don't follow the channel, I do have a playlist on this project. But essentially what happens here is when the rain first starts, all the dirt, dust, and road debris comes down into that pipe, hits that T, drops down through that T, wraps around towards the back of the harvester, and there's a small drip down pinhole valve over there. So as the rain's coming and rinsing the roof off, that water's backing up in that pipe. And they call this a first flush or a first wash. As it continues to back up and back up, it gets to this clear section of PVC. And in there is a black plastic ball. And that black plastic ball will float up and plug the hole in the bottom side of that T, allowing the water now to pass through the T. Now that the roof is rinsed, go through that spin down filter and then I can divert that water to my 1500 gallon tank that's to my left or route it the way I have it configured now through that green pipe over to my 2500 gallon tank and nobody up in this mountain has a well everybody has cisterns most people drive downtown and go to the water supply place and get water well I'm the only one who's actually collecting rain water up here and so far we've had it a year and a half now and haven't ordered a load and it works pretty well in fact, I have a valve over here in the end that my neighbors can use. So when I'm not collecting rainwater, there's a green hose down there in the grass. They can back their trucks in down here, top off their water totes, and take it back to their place. So at least we got the rainwater harvester back online. We had a good downpour last night. With the magic of editing, I'm going to insert screenshots of the gauge. But I estimate we collected about 250 gallons of water in the large tank last night. Now you might ask, is this water potable or drinkable? Well, I don't drink it, I guess we could. We do have a drip down filter down in the retreat location that I think goes down to a couple of microns. But it gives me an opportunity to say thank you to Jeff at LPC Survival. I met him two weeks ago at the Prepper Convention and he gave me one of these Berkey sports bottles to show here on the channel. And I just was waiting for an opportunity to work it into a video. Well, working on the rainwater harvester, I think that allows me to work it in. The filter there is at the end of a straw, so you can put your contaminated or dirty water in the bottle, transport it around with you, and at the top, you fold the top back and the straw is exposed, and you draw water up through the filter to the straw so you can drink it. And that's a charcoal filter down there, and it tastes quite good. I've been drinking out of that bottle all day long, working on my radio videos, and that's water that came out of the tap, which came off of this roof, which came off of that tank. I went down to the retreat location, and so far I feel okay. So this is a chance to say thank you to Jeff with LPC Survival, and I'll put a link down below for the Berkey water bottle. And we are using it out here at the retreat location, and there's the straw exposed. So you suck on the straw there, which draws the water out of the bottle through the cartridge. Kind of like a life straw, but this way you don't have to put your face in the water source. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a short video on recommissioning the rainwater harvester for spring. Thanks for watching guys.